Okay, we have got our new points installed. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And we did get one installed here also. And we got new micro washers. What we're going to do is we're going to put this together. And we have mess with our seat to make sure we got a good a good seat there see what I want this to do is I want these two to match up so and we're going to achieve that this one has to go all the way down to get our good seal there I was talking about but this distance here is achieved with the micro washers and once you tighten it down it will pull it a little bit we may try that and see how it works out the object is to have the same amount of micro washers on both sides so when you look at it and if they're broke like that one was just get them out of there You know, that's what I say about pretty much everything. I'd rather for it to break now than to break next week after I put it all together. So I am a little rougher on some cast iron parts than most would be, I'd say. I'm going to tighten this as much as I can, holding these two together. And then I'm going to... get some vice grip and clamp that down to where they're together Okay, I think we're pretty close to what I want. Let's take a look. Can y'all see that? Turned out really nice. Let me try to. I don't know if you can see it or not. But see how they're coming together flat? It's almost perfect. That's what you want. And this igniter is going to be set up to run a battery and a cool. So the points are going to be open at all times. And then when it comes down and trips, they'll pop together and open back up. At least that's the correct way to do it. So that's what we're going to try to do. We do have new springs. The spring that came on the igniter, I don't know if y'all can see in the camera, but uh, the one I had is a little heavy duty. Uh, a little more than this one that's just a stronger material and you can even see the spring action it's just a better one so we're going to use that one we did clean this up and get the paint off of it so we will use it and we are going to use this I mean it's pretty worn it really needs to be faced right there it's uh that metal's really hard it's hard to it's hard to file that metal and we will go ahead and use this 
also works really well but it's not it's not original we're gonna cut us a gasket and that's pretty much all we have to do to uh, to get her running I believe so okay this is where we're at show you. we pretty much have everything done um, except the igniter we've double checked everything to make sure we've got good movement and everything our valves are good I mean everything is everything's ready to go our our choke zone our gas line I need a valve um, we got our tag on there so we are ready to go we did close up the hole for the magneto with some uh, pretty good size metal this one does have the vent let's see the number is two seven one eight three five two seven one eight three five it's uh it is what it is we're gonna get that igniter fixed and put it on there and we're gonna start her up won't be tonight but uh maybe in the morning maybe we can get that done in the morning i have to get some gas so and i gotta go a little further than normal to get the gas because uh, I want to put some non-ethanol in the engine. I don't want to put none of that junk in it. That's how that ended up. And you can see our numbers on there too. I don't know if it'll focus in, but crankshaft is stamped with a number. And this is the other side. Let's get back here. And that's how the other one ended up. Not too bad, but I probably will paint it since it really has no protection.